So we've gotten to know each other pretty well. <laughs> um, in um, intermission time, Mike Murphy. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, clap for Mike. Yeah. So Mike came back to the back of the room and he said, hey, um, really enjoying the show. My son, James, um, he's asleep right now, so we'll just... I don't want to wake him up. Anyway, James really liked the line in my first song about Taco Bell, um, which I thought was really cool because when I was James's age, he's five, Taco Bell was my vision of heaven. Um, and in fact, when I died, I wanted to be like wrapped up in a little burrito and anyway, no. Um, anyway, so I was thinking, that's pretty cool that James was attracted and, and really caught on to the Taco Bell line. So I wanted to share something with you guys. I'm a middle school teacher, and you learn a lot of interesting things as a middle school teacher. And one of the things you learn is that um, Taco Bell um, hot sauce packets can be weapons. They can be weaponized. Um, I did some investigative journalism on my own, pro bono, and uh, just for you guys, you don't have to do it. And, and it, they make, Taco Bell every year makes more hot sauce than they actually will end up using. They plan this into their bottom line, and the <laughs> remainders, they sell to riot control units. Um, <laughs> if you bend the packets and place them under a toilet uh, seat, when somebody sits down, they activate. <laughs> Glad James is asleep. <laughs> Anyway, just letting y'all know, this is for the good of the public. Um, I have been to three continents, a couple states, two county fairs, and South Carolina, and I have never seen anything like eighth grade. It is absolutely bonkers. So this song uh, I'm gonna sing is um, kind of continuing on the food theme. It's not a Taco Bell song. Still waiting on that sponsorship. Um, this is a song I wrote about a billboard that I saw off Highway 29 around Greensboro. And the billboard had nothing to do with food. So it was my job to twist its political message and turn it into food. And the billboard said, fight for LGBT rights. And my stomach growled. And this song has uh, gotten me in a lot of trouble from both sides of the aisle. So that's how I know it's a good song. <laughs> so. Before I play the song, I'm a big fan of Groucho Marx, and I just want to say, these are my principles, and if you do not like them, I have others. <laughs> Throw lettuce, German mustard, and some bacon on a bun. Some like it with tomatoes, some like it like my son. Well, I don't know the recipe, or even how it tastes But it must be a hell of a sandwich To have its own parade <laughs> Some of you are ahead of me <laughs> Well, my son called up the other day As I was on the throne He said, Dad, if you've got time to talk Well, I think it's time you know he talked about a sandwich he discovered as a teen And that's when I learned all about LGBT. <laughs> some people like the L, some people like the G Believe me, I don't care as long as I get mine with tea It don't matter what's on your platter, peaches, corn, or cake before you start a food fight, be sure you've cleaned your plate. <laughs> he said, Daddy, are you angry? Have I not let you down? I told him, son, I'm the proudest dad of any man around. I told him that I'd love him no matter what he eats. From honeydew to barbecue and LGBT. Some people like the L, some people like the G. And most folks I know are really more somewhere in between. It don't matter what's on your platter, peaches, corn, or cake. Before you start a food fight, be sure you clean your plate. Well, I don't know the recipe or even 
how it tastes But it must be a hell of a sandwich to have its own parade Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.